So here we shall give the definition of a bijective function with some examples. So first we should know what do we mean by a function. So a function is a re relation which is either many to one, which is either many to one or one to one. It means what? That suppose if we have a relation f, which uh, maps from the set x to the set y. Um, suppose the set x contains the numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the set y contains the alphabets a, b, c, d, e, and f. So then suppose if a relation f is such that, suppose f is a relation from uh, x to y, such that 2 is related to c, and 2 is related to d also, and 3 is related to b, and 4 is related to e also, and suppose d also. So here we have that, so then f will be called as a 1 to many relation, one to many re re relation. It means that some elements in X are related to more than one element in Y. One to many relation, it means that um, it means that if any element in the set X is related to more than one element in Y. More than one element in Y. Then it is called one to many re relation. So this type of relation if you have, then it is called, then it is not a function. Then this relation F is not a function. <laughs> This relation f is not a function. Else, if we have a function f1, uh, suppose if we have a function, if we have a relation f2, which also maps from x to y, the set are same. Suppose the set x contains 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the set Y contains the elements A, B, C, D, E, and F. And suppose 1 is related to B, 2 is also related to B, 3 is related to C, 4 is, is related to E, suppose. So then here we can see that 1 is also related to B, 2 is also related to B. So, so here the, the relation F, it is a many to one relation. It is a many to one relation. It means that it means if uh, it means here more than one element in X is related to a single element in Y. It means more than one element in the set X is related to one element in Y. <clears throat> so this type of many to one relation if we have then it is a function so if we have a relation from a, a relation f2 from x to y then here this relation f2 this relation f2 is a function is a function in fact it is called as a many to one function in fact it will be called as a many to one function and here, in this case, if it is a one to many relation, it is not called a one to many function. Since why it is not a function. So if one to many relation, if we have, then it will be called as a, it is not a function. So then, so it is the case one, I can tell it is case two. And then case three, I can tell it is 
that if <clears throat> if a function f1 if we have which also maps from x to y where the set x contains the same elements 1 2 3 and 4 so here in all the cases we are saying x is the set 1 2 3 4 and y is the set a b c d e f and f f1 this f f1 so f and f1 f2 f3 f4 etc all these are some relations from the set x to y they are relations from x to y so <clears throat> so here if x is a relation from f1 is a relation from x to y where y also contains the same elements a b c d e and f so where one where the element one is related to a two is related to b three is related to e four is related to d so here we can see that <clears throat> Every element in X is related to a unique element in Y. So here we can see that here, um, here the relation F1 will be called as a one-to-one -one relation. One-to-one -one relation. It means what? It means, it means here, here, every element in X every element in the set x is related to is related to a unique element a unique or only one element only one element in the set y so this is so one to one relation if you have then this kind of relation is also called as a function in fact it is called as a one to one function so this relation we can say that this relation this relation from x sorry this relation which is f1 is a one to one function the one to one function so one to one function if we have it is also called as an injective function injective <clears throat> so we can then write the definition of injective function also so it is told that a function a function f which maps from x to y is defined as is defined as uh, one to one, one to one or injective, one to one or injective function. If the images of, if the images of, <laughs> of, uh, if the images of the distinct elements, if the images of the distinct elements of x under the function f under the function f are distinct also are distinct also which means which means that if for every which means that for every x1 and x2 x1 comma x2 belongs to the set x f of x1 is equal to f of x2 also implies that x1 should be equal to x2 also implies that x1 should be equal to x2 and if x1 f of x1 is not equal to f of x2 it means that x1 is also not equal to f of x2 if x f of x1 is not equal to f of x2 then x1 is also not equal to x x2 so else if this kind of situation happens else if f of x1 is not equal to f of x2 or I can say if f of x1 
equal to f of x2. So if f of x1 equal to f of x2, but x1 is not equal to x2, then it is called as a many to one function. Many to one function. And if this kind of situation happens, that if f of x1 is not equal to f of x2, but x1 is not equal to x2, then we should say that it is not a function. Then this kind of, it is not a function or it is called as a one to many relation. It will be called one to many re relation. <clears throat> so these kind of situations can also happen. So then the fourth case is that that um, if we have a function f3, if we have a function f3 which maps from x to suppose y1 suppose, where the set x contains the same elements 1, 2, 3, 4, but y1 is a different set. Suppose y1 contains the elements a, b and c only and uh, 1 is related to a, 2 is also related to a. So here everywhere we should give the arrow sign actually when there is a relation. When the relations are there we should give the arrow sign. Okay. So then um, here 1 is related to A, 2 is related to A, 3 is related to B, 4 is related to C. So here actually if we want to write the elements of the function then we should write it like this. So it should be consisting of all the ordered pairs 1 comma A then it should be 2 comma A and then 3 comma B then 4 comma C. Here also suppose if we want to write the set F2. So function relation all these are a set of ordered pairs actually so if we tell a function f is a it it maps from the set x to y it means what it means that the function f is the set of all ordered pairs and it is a subset of the set x cross y it means that here suppose we tell that 2 is related to b 1 is has no and here actually this kind of thing can happen if any element in the set x has no image in the set y then also it is not a function we should know this so here f if we write that will be the order pairs like 2 comma c 2 comma d etc like this and here suppose if we want to find write the elements in the set f2 then also it will be 1 is related to b so it will be 1 comma b and this will be also 2 comma b since 2 is is related to b and then 3 is related to c so 3 comma c then 4 comma e etc yeah so it has got four order pairs so also we should know this fact that also if also if uh, of a relation f maps from x to y and any element in x an element in x has no image has no image in the set y then also then also the relation f is not a function and also the relation f is will be not a function it means that if a relation has to be a function the two conditions should be met that is a function is a relation which is either many to one or one to one and all all elements in x all elements in x should have an image in y should have image in y it means that a function f which maps x to y is a relation sorry 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 we should tell like this this definition is wrong a relation a relation 
a relation f which maps from x to y is called a function is called a function if it is if it is either many to one relation or one to one relation and all the elements in the set x should have an image in the set y okay then uh, here so here we can see that the function f3 it is uh, f3 is the relation f3 is obviously many to one many to one and here we can see that all the all the elements in the set y1 has a pre image in the set x so so it means that for every element in y1 for every image in y1 there exists an element in the set x so hence it is called as an on to function so it is many to one also and it is on to relation on to so this function f3 is many to one is many to one and it is an on to function so on to function it means it is called as a surjective surjective function so now from here we can give the definition of surjective function so the definition is that a function a function f which maps from x to y is said to be is said to be an on to function or it is called as a surjective function it is called as a surjective function if every element if every element of the set y is the image is the image of some element in x of some element in some element of x under the relation f under the function f so it means so i can say that for every for every element y belongs to the set y there exists there exists an element there exists an element x which belongs to the set x such that f of x equals to y <clears throat> so then it is called as an on to function or surjective function suppose we give an a fifth case of a function f5 sor sorry f4 we give a fun a, a relation f4 which maps from x to y2 suppose so where the set x is the same which is 1 2 3 4 but the set y2 that consists of suppose a b c d now and f2 f4 is a relation from x to y2 and suppose 1 is related to b 2 is related to a then 3 is related to d and 4 is related to c so here we can see that every element has an so here f4 here f4 is a one to one function is a one to one function since why there is no two elements in the set x which has got the same image in y2 since why since i can tell that no no two elements no two elements in the set x has the same have the same image have the same image in y2 it means that different elements have got different images also so it is called as an on one one function also you can say that also since uh, for if 
f of x1 is not equal to f of x2, then it also implies that x1, x1 is not equal to x2 for all x1, comma x2 belongs to the set x. You can say this. And the function f4 is a is an onto function also. Is an onto function also. It means that it is surjective. Since why every element, every element in y, every element in y2 is related to it means that every element in y2 is an image of some element in of some element in x okay. so here it is the case that here f4 is a 1 1 1 1 and on 2 function 1 1 and on 2 function so hence the the function f4 is injective also the function f4 is injective also The function f4 is injective also and it is onto also means it is surjective also so if it is one one and onto then it is called as a bijective function so now the rule is that if a function is a if a function is both one 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 means it is it should be injective and if it is onto and it is on to means which is it is subjective then it is called as a then it is called as a bijective function bijective function so hope you have understood the concept of so we can also tell simply that a function f which maps from x to y is an onto function if and only if if and only if the range if and only if the range of the function f is same as the set y so the rule is that if a function f maps from x to y then the, the set x is called the the domain of the function f so then if f is a function which maps from the set x to the set y then the domain of the function f is the set x and the y is called as the co-domain and the co-domain co-domain of the function f is the set y and range is range is the set of all the set of all the images of the elements of set x it means that range is the set of all images of the elements in the set x elements in the set x so it means that range is always a subset of the codomain it can be equal to the codomain also it can be equal to the codomain also and but range of a function is always a subset of the codomain of the function. And if the range is same as the codomain, co if the range of the function is same as the codomain of the function, then only it is called as an onto function or surjective function. So, hope you have understood the concept. So, we shall explain these concepts by the help of some, su some suitable examples in the subsequent videos. Thank you.